when you hit that line, your job is to not slow down, is to keep going. <sighs> Waiting for a delivery. So I figure while I wait, we'll talk a little bit about what makes a better triathlete. Now this is a philosophical discussion more than a practical discussion of tips and tricks and training things like that. You know, the question is, and I've thought about this for a while, what makes a better triathlete? What is better? Is better always faster? How do you measure better? And how do we measure changes in better over time? In other words, how am I getting better? Is my training working? That kind of thing. I put the question out to a couple of uh, Facebook pages, the Cape Fear Triathlon Club and um, Pathetic Triathletes Group. I got back a couple of answers and it was interesting because people agreed that, yeah, speed and, and getting faster is equivalent to getting better. But then I got a couple of, of answers. One was health, to get healthier. Another was longevity, to uh, do longer races. A better triathlete does longer races. And another one was being better means uh, being able to do this uh, for the rest of your life kind of a thing, you know, uh, keep doing this as you age. I thought that was kind of interesting. I mean, there are, there are a couple of other things that, that I thought of as well. Uh, one of them being um, losing weight, you know, are you losing more weight? Is that your goal? Uh, are you pushing yourself to your limits? You know, one of the, one of the things that, that Chrissy Wellington, uh, said that, and, and I quote her a lot, um, because I really admire her and her work. Uh, she said that one of her best races, in fact, her best race at Kona, I think she said was her last race. She gave it her all. She pushed herself to her absolute limits and she felt that she knew it. <clears throat> that to her was a better triathlete. I mean, she had already proven to the world that she was the world champion. How do you get better once you're the fastest, right? Well, she got better uh, by pushing herself to the limits. So really, what's my point? I guess my point is why, why do we do this in the first place? Why are we out there? Why do we slog through 140.6 miles? Why, you know, you know What's the point of it all? And I think for each and every athlete, it comes down to that one reason that pushes us on. Because when, when we hit that line, and if, if you have ever um, heard a talk by Patrick McCann or Rich Strauss from Endurance Nation, you're probably familiar with the line. The line is that part, usually they, they say around mile 18, but it's that, that line that you get to in a race where you want to quit, where everything is just piling on you and the pain is intense and you just want to quit. When you hit that line, your job is to not slow down, is to keep going. And so a lot of the training is focused on that line, right? So really, if you know why you're doing what you're doing and you know what makes you a better triathlete, you're going to be better prepared when you hit that line. All right, I'm still waiting for my delivery. Um, that's really all I wanted to say. For Try Right, I'm LG, stay to the right, pass on the left, and keep on defining what makes you a better triathlete. Hey, thanks for watching, I really appreciate that. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like, Click right over here and you can subscribe to my channel. That way, you'll always know when I produce a new video. And then, check out this video right here.